Free Speech TV here at the National Conference for Media Reform in Denver, and I'm really excited to sit down with filmmaker Sam Mayfield. Thanks for joining us. Greetings. Thanks for having me. So you had a really successful Kickstarter project uh, to make a film uh, about Wisconsin. Uh, tell us how this whole idea got started. Uh, I was sent to Wisconsin to cover the 2011 uprisings that were happening there. I was sent by the uptake. They called me and said, hey, Sam, do you have flexibility in your schedule, and can you go and report for us? Um, I had already been filming solidarity rallies happening in Vermont at the time and so they were familiar with my work and familiar with me enough to know that I had interest in this subject and so I said yeah absolutely I'd be happy to go so I originally went just to shoot for four days and then when I got there on the ground in Wisconsin and saw the huge numbers of people rising up I saw history unfolding in front of me and kept the cameras rolling for seven months so it's really an exciting project. We're just about to see this film come out, right? Yeah, I'm in the final stages of post-production. Really happy about that. I've been working hard. I'm doing final edits, and um, and it'll be finished very soon. So it's really exciting to have um, you know the spotlight on a female director. Certainly, we've seen um, the rise of more and more women uh, in Hollywood in film in the past couple of years, but it's been a long time coming. I think that there is enough room for all of us in the media world, yeah. A long time coming for sure, and um, you know, never too late. Well, it, I was just stunned when Catherine Bigelow won Best Director at the Oscars that that was the first time that had happened in the Academy Awards. I was like, mind-boggling to me. But, yeah. uh, but, but so, as a, as a filmmaker, you came at this project um, at, with a story to tell, n not, but not from a union background. Yeah, this is true. Um, I don't come from a union background. I come from a communications background and from a uh, real dedication to community media. I really see the value of, of listening to people who are rising up in the face of injustice. And so the real inspiration for this film was when I got on the ground and I saw history, as I said, history unfolding, and I saw dozens of thousands of people in the street not being listened to and being misrepresented in the mainstream media. And so... It's, it's an easy story to fall in love with as a person who loves community media and a person who believes in the, I really, I believe that we need to all make media that's reflective of our own lives and of our own communities in order to see change happen in the world. So uh, tell us about the, the films, Wisconsin Uprising? Wisconsin Rising. Wisconsin Rising. And, uh, and footage from one of the most electrifying events in, in public protests in the past several years. Um, uh, I guess my, my big question is about you know, coming into this scene expecting to just shoot for four days, did you end up, um, you know, did you have thousands of hours of footage? I mean, how, how did you, how did the film come together? I did not have thousands <laughs> of hours. I had hundreds of hours. Well, yeah. And, um, and the film came together following, following a chronological order of the events that actually took place. And then also following the things that people told me while I was there. I mean, there were certain there were certain threads of conversations that I kept having over and over and over again with people on the street, just nice Vox Pop interviews, and then with formal interviews of people sitting down. I mean, and for example, one of the things that I heard so many times was that um, Governor Scott Walker at the time was wholly unwilling to negotiate, wholly unwilling to listen to his constituents. And when there are dozens of thousands of people rising up in the street in this country where we don't really see a lot of direct political action. People have to pay attention and they have to listen. And so and so this is one of the things that I heard over and over and over again was that we're still here. We're 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 trying to be heard. And um, and so the film came together through chronology, through certain threads of conversations that were had and um, and, uh, you know, there are certain themes in the film. I mean, the film is about arrogance, and it's about corruption, and it's about greed, and it's about hope and strength of community, and people rising up in the face of injustice and remembering that together they have a lot of strength. So, yeah. so it's about more than just the signature that did away 50 years of collective bargaining. It's about the people fighting back. Yeah. Uh, how will people be able to see Wisconsin Rising? Well, you can go to wisconsinrising.com, 
and you can check out the trailer there, WisconsinRising.com, and um, and they'll be able to see it. Um, we'll do a nice film festival circuit. Uh, we'll be available in theaters. We'll um, do an educational tour. Um, but for now, WisconsinRising.com. Um, in the, you know, for the meantime, until we're finished with the film fully. Great, Sam Mayfield. Thanks so much for talking to Free Speech TV. Absolutely. Thank you for having me.